Hello, class. Hello. Hello, can you guys hear Hello, me? good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you guys hear me? Evening. Hi, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Hi. Good, because uh, Zoom is giving me problems. I was trying to connect five minutes and I would never connect. And so I had to, I had to um, quit try again. So, okay. So everybody can hear me okay? You can see me fine? Yes? No? Yes, the chair. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Um, okay, excellent. Um, well, guys, welcome to today's class. How are you guys today? How, how, how did you finish the last day of the week? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How did you guys finish the last day of the week? Yeah, you guys were able to finish? Okay, or was it too tiring? How did you guys feel? Happy to be in weekend. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's, yes, it's finally the weekend. It is the last day before our vacation. Yes, okay, so this is the last class that we have before the vacation. <laughs> what plans do you guys have on the vacation? What do you guys plan to do? Uh, maybe national tourism. Nice, nice. Where do you plan to go? I like Los Naranjos mm. by the weather. Yes, yes, definitely. Yes, Los Naranjos is a beautiful place. Yes, the weather is beautiful too. Um, I went two weekends ago. I went um, to Los Naranjos and I went to the Ruta de las Flores. It was very nice. Very, very nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. Except for I, because of the, um, I think that it's because of the, uh, of, of the time of the year, it wasn't so cool. I was expecting it to be cooler, but no, it wasn't very cool. I, I recommend uh, one place here. The name is Tacarbon. It's a good place. You can walk around it. Tacarbon. It's Tacarbon. Tacarbon. Huh. How interesting. I never heard of that. Yes, the, the view, the view is, is beautiful. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. And, and where, where is that? Where is that located? Is when you go from Santa Ana to Los Naranjos at the, in the beginning of Los Naranjos or at the start? Beginning, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is this a restaurant? Yes, it's uh, a restaurant. Okay, Sacarabon. Very good. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll take that into account. But what kind of food? Um, uh, I think uh, a, a lot of uh, possi possibilities. There are many, many options. Meat, uh, cake, coffee, bread. Mm. Okay, okay. 
Sounds good. I'll, I'll look. <laughs> All right, guys. Se miran ustedes ya bien relajados. Ya listo para las vacaciones están ustedes. Am I correct? Definitely. Yeah. You guys are very, very relaxed. Yeah. Marlene, relax. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> uh, it's only, it's just only because uh, today is my day off. But in my vacation, it's only three years, three days. So Friday mm. to Sunday. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. All right. Okay, but don't fall asleep on me, okay, Marlene? <laughs> <laughs> no, teacher, no. <laughs> okay, okay, good. All right, guys, I'm going to take attendance. Um, so I need you guys to turn on your camera, turn on your microphone. We're ready to start. Okay, Christina. Christina. No, Christina, okay. And got him, sorry, Annie? No, Annie? Uh, Mari? No, Mari. Carolina? No, Carolina? Strange. Christy? Jorge? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Jorge. Thank you. Uh, Karina. I'm oh, no, sorry, Karen. Karen is first. Karen, Karen, no, Karen. Push. Hay un montón que nos faltan. Karina. Present. All right, welcome, Karina. And Leonardo. Leonardo, no, Leonardo. Wow, okay. Linda. No, Linda. Marlene. Present. All right, welcome, Marlene. Miguel. No, Miguel, okay. Uh, Nelson. Present. All right, welcome, Nelson. And Nelson A. Present teacher. Welcome, Nelson. Norma. Present teacher. Welcome, Norma. Olga. Present teacher. Welcome, Olga. Omar. Omar. Eh, Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Welcome, Suleima. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. All right, welcome to Tatiana. Okay, let me make Thank sure you. that I haven't missed anybody. So I don't, I didn't hear Cristina, Ani, Mari, Carolina, Cristi, Karen, Leonardo, Linda, Miguel. and Sulema Melgar. Yeah? Okay. All right. Fueron de vacaciones. Sí. Se empezaron las vacaciones temprano. Okay. Vacation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, start. I'm going to project my PowerPoint. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, great. Analyzing production costs of a product. That is our topic for today. Um, the your facilitator is Jessica Guerra. It's the intermediate two. It's class number 19. So let's start. Um, I 
I'm going to ask you to pay attention to the questions. We have to practice the conversation here, but I'm going to ask you to pay attention to the questions. Okay, so I'm going to cover this up because I don't want you to pay attention to that. All right, so we have the question, does your company manufacture products? Are production processes updated frequently? Is there a control department at your company? Um, hold on, just give me a moment. Just a second, guys. This is the same that yeah, that's why I was known as saying that, we already heard this one. That Tuesday. Oh, yeah, you're muerto ahí, man. Oh, my. Uh-huh. <laughs> ¿Cómo es eso, Carolina? Perdón. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so Oye, no, me, me asustó, Carolina. Un nene. No, es que enfrente hay una cancha y sí están velando una persona. Ok. Uy, me, me, me asustó de entrada ahí. Ajá. ¿Cómo viene diciendo eso? Dijo. Ay, no. Sorry. Y creí que estaba calladito el micrófono. Sorry. Ok. All right. Um, bueno. Ok. Just a second, guys. Um, Se lo un momentito, chicos. Quiero asegurarme de algo. Ok. Ah, por cierto, chicos, les, uh, les recuerdo que um, estamos por terminar la unidad 3 y no este, vier no este lunes, sino que el siguiente eh, estaría yo actualizando las notas de la unidad 3. Por lo que les pido que trabajen en esas, eh, en esos ejercicios. Si es posible que trabajen en esos ejercicios um, durante la vacación. Ok. Para que um, no tengamos que, que preocuparnos en demasía, ¿verdad? Por, ok, por ellos. Um, Uh-huh, okay. Okay, I will see. So I just wanted to make sure. Quería asegurarme que no me estuviera pasando, pero sí. Okay. All right, guys. Um, yeah, we, we already did the, the, the conversation, so that's great. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm um, just a reminder that that uh, we are we're going to need to be finished unit three by um, Monday, April the 20 or the 18th, I guess. Yeah, the 18th. Okay, so Monday, April the 18th it has to be finished. So I strongly suggest that you work on that on the weekend, sorry, on the vacation, and also the final exam. Para que no estemos ahí corriendo, verdad, última hora, haciendo las cosas que siempre tengo que, el, ya cuando ha terminado el curso y te, siempre tengo que um, hacer un recordatorio a alguien que no hizo el examen final y no le da la nota. Entonces, acuérdense de eso, chicos, que los exámenes finales y los Y los midterms son los que tienen mayor ponderación. Entonces, si usted no lo hace, la nota no le va a dar. Así de sencillo, no le va a dar. Porque solo allí son, si no me equivoco, son, quiero ver, 30% creo que es. Algo así, 30% por cada, por cada, por cada, o sea, por Final, final 30% y el midterm final 30%. Entonces, si solamente uno no, no lo hace, 
lo mucho que le da la nota es a, a 70, aunque haya hecho todo lo demás. Entonces, y 70 no es una nota para poder pasar. Entonces, no les da la nota. Así que, por favor, empiecen ya desde ya con final para que no, tenga que, no tengamos que, que, que tener problemas al final. ¿Ok? Ok. Hey, teacher. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, so, we are going to continue. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. yes. Okay. So I told you yesterday that there were two types of indirect questions, right? The first one is indirect questions with the yes or no questions, which are the questions that basically the only possibility is answering yes or no, right? So you say, for example, um, do you work on the weekends? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Right? Um, do you, or does he, um, does he work at the office, at an office? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Um, are you tired? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Have you, um, have you ever ridden a horse? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. So any questions that you have, yes or no questions, remember that those are introduced by the word if. Right? Remember yesterday we learned about using if? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, but, and if, when you see the word if, it's indicating that we are using a yes or no question. Okay, that's what the word if indicates, that it's a yes or no question. But in this case, we're not talking about uh, in indirect questions with yes or no questions. We're talking about indirect information questions. Okay. So this one's a little, a little different, not very much, but it, a little bit different. Why? Because instead of using if, what we do is we use a WH question word. Okay, because with information questions, information questions are the ones that you ask more information. So you say, how much does it cost? So you can't just answer yes or no. Um, how old are you? Can't answer yes or no. Uh, why did you, um, why did you quit your job? You can't just say, yes, I did. No, I don't, I didn't. Or um, who do you work with? Okay, you can't just say answer yes or no. So those questions, when you're asking more information, they use the WH question words. And that's exactly what we're gonna be using instead of the word if. So it's exactly the same structure as before, the same structure that we learned yesterday. The difference is that instead of using if, we're gonna use a WH question word. It's that simple. So if you, if you understood yesterday's class, you'll understand this one, piece of cake. Okay, so let's, let's see what we're talking about. So I wonder what, what the two pieces I need to weld are. We can pair it with, what are the two pieces I need to weld? This one sounds more, you know, polite. So we use, I wonder. Mm, perdón. Okay, so we use, I wonder. That is the indirect question starter. Look at number two. I'd like to know when the provider will send us orders of screw. You compare it to the direct question, which is, when would the provider send the order of screws? So what changes here is the indirect starter, indirect question starter, sorry. Would you mind telling us how much the provider charges to process the order? 
how much does the provider charge to process the order? So the difference here is using this indirect question starter. Next, would you let me know what time the first batch is expected to be complete? So this one is compared to what time is the first batch expected to be complete? The difference is use, is when that here we use the indirect question starter. Okay, so I wonder, i like to know, would you mind telling us, would, would you let me know? Let's just make sure that you understand these, these starters. I wonder, do you understand the word I wonder? What does it mean, I wonder? Me pregunto. Me pregunto. Perfect. Me pregunto. I'd like to know. Eh, quisiera saber. Mm -hmm. Quisiera saber. O me gustaría saber. Mm -hmm. Very good. Would you mind telling us? Te importaría decirnos. Very good. Te importaría decirnos. Would you let me know? Te importaría hacerme saber o dejarme saber. Mm -hmm. Solo que no es te importaría simplemente. Yo podría. No. Te podrías. Ajá. Uh -huh. Te podrías dejar uh -huh. saber. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. O me podría dejar saber para ser más, más, uh, eh, más formal. Ok. All right. Now, after that, normally, uh, yesterday we learned that we use um, the, the word if, right? But here we don't. Instead, we use the WH question word. What? When? How much? What time? You see that? Yeah? Okay. And then after that, we use, ¿Qué va después? ¿Quién se acuerda? What goes after the, what do we say goes after the if? The auxiliary. No. The indirect, indirect question. No. Yesterday, what did we say goes after if? Subject. The subject. So in this one is the two pieces I need to weld. This one is the provider. This one is the provider. And this one is the first batch. Okay. What did we say goes after? What goes after the subject? The verb. The verb. And if, and if the verb has an auxiliary, we also add the auxiliary. This case is R. Here we have will send. So there's an auxiliary there. Here we have charges. Um, here we have um, is expected, which also has um, a auxiliary. And then what did we say goes after the verb? What did we say goes after the verb? Complement. Huh? Complement. Complement. Very good. And complement is optional, right? Um, like in number one, no complement, right? 
But in number two, yes, there's a complement. In uh, this one, number one over here, also there's a complement. And number two also complements. But you don't always have to have a complement. As you can see, in number one. Okay. And just a reminder, just to remind you that we do not use do, does, or did. Okay, do, it does, or did. We do not include it. Okay, it's the same, the same rules as, be, as yesterday, not included, okay? And remember that it depends on, um, it depends on a, if, it, if the beginning, the, the indirect question starter is a question or not, we're either gonna be using a period or a, um, or a question mark. Okay, so that's just a little reminder. How do you feel about this structure? Okay, so I'm going I'm going to write it down just so that you that I, I make sure that everybody understands it. Yeah, the structure. Yeah. Not that. Is indirect question starter. Double yeah. question. Right, very good, exactly. Let's make that one. Okay, and we said that after that, nor, well, with the other one, we used if, but in this one, we're going to use what? Probably a question. question. Yes, very good. It's the WH question. So. Okay, what goes after? Subject. Oops. Second. Okay, so then we got the subject, right? And yesterday we talked about that the subject can be long. Sometimes it's long, sometimes it's short, right? Both are correct. Just like, uh, for example, this one, the two pieces I need to weld, that's a long one. But this one is short, the provider, right? So it could be long or short, doesn't really matter, okay? And after that, what goes after that? Auxiliary. Bear. Right. Bear. Auxiliary, right? If if you need it. And the verb. And the verb. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so notice. The auxiliary comes after the subject, not before it. All right.
and complement. And yes, exactly. Um, although this is, of course, as I just mentioned before, the complement is optional, right? It's not a mandatory. So you may find that you don't need the complement. Actually, Okay. All right. So how do you guys feel about this? Does this make sense to you? And you're totally lost. How do you feel about this? Mm -hmm. Just oh, sorry, guys, I forgot something very, very important. Um, what goes to after? What goes at the very end? Uh, question, question mark. Yeah, period or question mark, right? Okay, so don't forget that as well. Okay. All right. So what do you guys feel? How do you feel about this? Does this make sense for you guys or? Mm hmm. Does this make sense? Is it clear? It's not clear. It's clear for me. It's clear, teacher. It's clear, teacher. Okay. All right. So, like I said, this is if you understood yesterday's class, this is a piece of cake because it's exactly the same thing. The only thing that changes is that instead of using if, we use a WH questioning word. So, we use what, where, when, why, who um which yeah so here you go okay all right okay so um since it's clear um give me a moment Okay, tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay. So, what we're going to do here is let's practice here. We have the num number the drawings in the correct order to assemble. That was the word that I was looking for yesterday. There was a word that's at the tip of my tongue and I can't remember what it is. It's assemble. Okay, that's not. Assemblar. Assembla no, in Spanish it's assemblar. Assemblar. Mm -hmm. So, let me just say assemble. So, we're going to. Put the drawings in the order that is correct. Like what, what goes first, what goes next, okay? So here we have the drawings. We have the pedals, the frame, the handlebars, the ship, the saddle. You guys were asking me yesterday, what was the saddle? Um, let me show you what the saddle is. So you guys know, you understand what a saddle is. This part here, 
the seat of the bicycle. Sorry? The seat yeah. of the bicycle. Yeah. You can say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. And then we have the wheels. So I want you to put the, the drawings in the order that you think is most appropriate. Okay, you guys finished? No? Yes, no? Yes. Who needs more time? Frame. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? We're looking here at like the most logical order. The number one frame. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, are you guys finished? Yes? Yes, teacher. Everybody's finished? Yeah? Guys and girls, I need your opinion because I, I need to know, can we check or we can't check? A mí me falta, teacher. Okay. All right. 
Uh, give me a minute. Jesus. <laughs> I'm not sure if it correct Jesus in this case. <laughs> um, we actually say, well, in English, it, you say, bless you. Just, just that? Yeah, just bless you, huh? bless you. Okay. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, if the sound is very, very strong. <laughs> yeah, it, Thank you, Chair. yeah, the thing is that um, we do like we we do use the word Jesus, but it's not the way that you think that it is. It's not polite. <laughs> um yeah but it's not so much that it's not polite it's just that yeah, it, yeah it's let's say that it's yeah it may not but it's 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 like when you say in spanish por dios <laughs> like that 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 is so in english we say jesus <laughs> yeah, so it's it's that kind of um yeah it's, but if the, it but if the sounds it scared you. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, it's so uh, the, the sound is very higher when you estornudas. Oh, like a high pitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You can go, <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, that that yeah, that could happen. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But everybody has different ways of of sneezing, right? Because um, you know, some people are very loud. They go ah, chill, right? <laughs> and then uh, I know um, one of that one was of, the idea. <laughs> one of my very good friends. Um, it's it's very cute. She sneezes. So she's like. Ach -ach 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 -ach. <laughs> It's really cute. But, but so, there are many people that say Regia. Oh, really? Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I think I've given you enough time. Let's start. What's number one? And I'm just going to ask you guys to open up. What's number one? Shipping. 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 Um, notice this says number the joints in. If to assemble the, yeah. the parts of bicycle. Exactly. The number one, I think, is frame. Exactly. We're assembling the parts of the of the bicycle. Right. The fabrica, chicos. The fabrica. Okay, so yes, it's a frame. Okay. Sounds good? Yes. Okay, so number one is the frame. Number two. Number two. Maybe. Maybe handlebars. Handlebars. Wheels. 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 Mm -hmm. Wheels. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Wheels. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We have to put the wheels in first. After the wheels? Handlebars. Sandal. Handlebars. Sandal. Sandals. Sandals. Pedal. But what is, what is the wheels? What can you need with the pedals? Pedals. Yeah. Ah, pedal. Ah, dale. 
Right? Para que haga que, para que haga que, que dé vuelta en las, las llantas, necesitamos dos pedals. Number four. Yeah. Number four. Thunderbars. Saddle. Saddle. Number four would be handlebars. Yeah, handlebars. Como se nota que no tuve bicicleta. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so me too. I didn't have a bicycle. <laughs> okay, number five. Say the saddle. 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 Shipping. Shipping. Yeah, we ship it. Yeah. We ship it to the, the store, to the retailer, to the sales of the okay. Is that clear for everybody? Okay, teacher. Yes, teacher. Now, yes, because I was making the question. No, no, no. Okay, so now, now we're going to be doing this. Take turns asking and asking. Y ese musicón de Nelson. Uh, okay, so we are going to uh, take turns asking and answering indirect questions about the assembly process of a product. Okay, so you can ask questions, for example, um, can you tell me what is the first step? Can you tell me how many uh, wheels the bicycle has? Um, do you know what a saddle is? Do you know, uh, yeah, do you, do you know what a saddle is? Um, eh, can you tell me what, uh, or yeah, can you tell me what goes after, um, after the wheels, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So the idea is to make as many indirect questions as you can about assembling the 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 product so assembling the bicycle does that make sense yes yes teacher okay good so right now i'm going to get you to work in pairs and create questions right now you're just creating questions i want you to create minimum i want you to create five to seven questions using indirect questions. Five to seven in pairs about the assembly process. Okay? Okay. Anything you wanna ask, any question, you're going to be creating the question right now. That's all you're gonna do with your partner. Just create the question. After you're going to be discussing the question, but right now just create the indirect question. Okay? It's pretty clear? Pretty clear. Any questions so far? Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing because I want to put you into pairs. Um, I'm going to give you 10 minutes. Okay. All right. Everybody understands the instructions? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go. Hello, Nelson. Yes. Okay. Are you going to be working together? No, yet, but no, I guess yes. Um, <coughs> Then, eh, chicos. Don't mind. Tell. I want to let me know the time. Do you guys understand what you have to do? Really, no. Hmm? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right, good. I'll come back to see how you guys are doing. Okay. Okay. Um, no, 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 Pero el primero sería el de Frank. ¿Cómo? El Frank, sí. Bueno, entonces la primera sería Would you mind teach me? Pero ver. Pero tendríamos que poner, si lo hacemos con la instruction de la de, la de ayer, tendríamos que poner el if. Could you mind if? Primero, la, la, en esa, digamos, la, la, ¿cómo se llama? Um, la primera parte es la indirect question, ¿verdad? Would Ajá. you mind? En Sería este caso. Good, good you mind. Ajá. Then is if. 
Pero en este caso no, no lo utilizamos. Porque utilizamos doble H question. ¿Verdad? Pero siempre se usa. El que if. Sí. En esta no. Bueno, sí, 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 siempre se tendría que usar. If. Ah, ah, pero usted dice porque la según la instrucción del, del cuadro. Ajá. Ya no hay que But it's necessary to use at the what, when, how much, Ajá, or what sí. time. Double H question. Pero aquí no usamos eso. ¿eh? Sí, no. Would you mind teach me? Ajá, no. Está. ¿Te importaría? Podría no. ser como mejor. Would you mind? Maybe. How to mind? Would you mind? Tell, tell va, va un verbo siempre. No. Tell, bueno, tell. es igual a la que hicimos. Digamos, would you mind teach me? Si pone tell, va un verbo después. Uh -huh. okay, teach me. Teach me. Como right, la best bicycle, guys. <coughs> ¿Qué verbo podemos poner aquí? Se fue linda. Ay, qué cosas. Si todos los demás grupos tienen tres integrantes. No, tres integrantes. Ah, okay. No, pues mándeme uno. Y sí, eso es lo que estaba viendo. Let's, let's wait. She, she, should, she should be coming soon. So, is, is that your bed? Marlene? Yes, teacher. Sí, eso es. Pero no, no, no me duermo todavía. I like the backboard. Gracias. Yeah, very, very, very nice. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I sleep the, the, all the, the evening. Yo dormí toda la tarde, por eso no. Oh, the afternoon. No, tengo, no the afternoon, sí, sorry. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Por eso no, no puedo dormir, Mary. Uh, ok. <laughs> Pero así dan ganas cuando me ven así. Todos los teachers me han dicho, no se ve, hermano. <laughs> sí, es que. Uh -huh. Yo creo que todo nos da ganitos. Sí, ah. <laughs> sí <cierto. laughs> Yes, but it's, I like it. I like the backboard. Oh, thank it's you. Very, very nice. Thank you. Did, did you make it or did you buy it like that? Um, I buy. You bought it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I bought it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you, I'm asking because sometimes uh, you can make those like by yourself. 
<laughs> yes, and uh, no, I try it, but no, it's, it's, it's not easy. It's not uh -huh. easy. Yeah. No. Oh, si no, 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 no se quiere conectar. No se quiere conectar. Todavía no entra. We'll give her a little bit. How many questions do you have so far? Uh, two. Two questions. Ah, there she is. You were with Linda, right? Yes. Okay. There she comes. Hola. No sé por qué me me Ajá, bye. What time more or less? More or less. More or less. Um tardaría en llegar. Would it take? Would it? Would it time? Would the 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 podría ba? Would uh -huh. it take? Ah, uh, take to get. Okay. To my house. My house. Question mark. Question mark. Number six. Six. Mm. Number six. Maybe we can do it. One answer. Mm -hmm. Podemos responder la primera. Okay. I like to know what is the price. Okay. <sighs> The cost in sales okay. no offer quiero poner. Perdón, es que estaba regañando a los perritos. A ver. ¿Podemos responder la número uno? Sí, the cost is sales. Ajá. The cost on offer. No, 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 you don't have to, you don't have to answer the question. You just, uh, you just have to create the question. Okay. Okay. Just question. Okay. Just create the questions. Number six, question. Um, I wonder if the saddle um I wonder if Ah, ah, pero ahí no lleva el if. I wonder what is the comfort for settle. Settle. 
of the cell. In the comfort. I wonder what is the comfort comfort of the settle of the settle mm -hmm. okay vamos a ver si estamos siguiendo la estructura in the question starter do you ask question Subject. Ah, subject. No le hemos puesto subject. Uh -huh. En este caso sería wonder what is como no the comfort of the cerro sería el subject y no lleva complemento. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Oh, is the comfort of the cell? What? No le veo el verbo. Yes. Que no era ispa. Sí, ese es el verbo, pero lo hemos puesto antes y el verbo al final. Exacto. Uh -huh. Por eso tiene que llevar complemento. What the comfort of the is? No. Uh -huh. How are we doing? Hello, teacher. I only did four questions. Okay, but you're working together, right? <laughs> Something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nelson? Hello. Hi. Hi. Are uh, any questions? Nelson, any questions? No question, and I don't work because I am in love. Sorry, I couldn't hear you very well, Nelson. In Spanish. O sea, no he trabajado porque ahorita estoy perdido y no te entiendo muy bien. Y no sé, no, no tengo mucho ánimo para trabajar ahorita en, en grupo. Perdón, Nelson, creo que, que no sé si el, el, el internet está fallando, que eh, no, no le escuché muy bien. Creo que sí falla el internet. Ok. Ahorita le acabo de escuchar. ¿Qué me decía? Ahorita no he estado o sea, poniendo la atención de vida, entonces no he entendido bien las instrucciones, por lo tanto no he estado trabajando como debería. Ajá. Ok. Uh, have you asked Karina for help? No. Ok. How about if you, if you work with Karina? And she can and she can help you out and you you ask her questions about the structure and um, she can answer and maybe you Karina you can share a bit of the questions so you can explain a little bit sounds good okay okay teacher um only I want to know if the structure is indirect question starter plus wh word plus subject, plus auxiliary verb, plus complement, right? Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. 
Okay, so I'll give it. And Nelson, you need to write down the questions because you're going to be using the questions in a moment. Okay. Okay. The question I have are, will you mind telling me how long it takes to assemble a bicycle? I don't know if you're going to write the question. Would you mind tell me? Would you mind telling me? How long Cases, I would like to know if the break can be adjusted. I saber si se pueden ajustar los frenos. Ah, okay. I don't know if the brake can be adjusted. Como, como, como Hola. Lo del sadly es como el asiento. Sí. Yes. I would like to know if this seat is comfortable. Sorry, are you ready or do you need more time? No sé cuántas tenemos que hacer, teacher. I said five to seven. Yeah, tenemos cinco. Yeah, you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. All right, good. Uh, I'll see you in the in the main room in a moment. Okay. I have only three. Uh, we have to solder these two pieces. This is one. Okay. 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 Thank 
Ahí creo que está más alto. Ahí toma las más acertadas de que tenemos. Nueve. Okay, so I'm hoping everybody has uh, at least five questions. Do you guys yeah. think? Yeah? Okay, good, yeah. good, good. Yeah. Okay, before we continue with the next activity, what we're gonna do is take attendance because it's already very late. Se nos pasó el tiempo. Okay, so I'm going to take attendance. Give me a moment. Camaritas encendidas, por favor. Solo veo la mitad de mi clase. Okay. All right, here we go. So, Cristina. Welcome, Ani. Ani? No, Ani. Mari? Present. All right. Carolina? Present. Thank you. Cristina? Sorry, Christy. Sorry, Christy. Christy, Christy? No. Um, Jorge? Present, teacher. Uh, Karen? Present. All right, welcome. Teacher, um, um, Annie is sick, that is why she is not here. Okay, okay, thank you for letting me know. Okay, good. Uh, all right, Leonardo? No. Uh, Linda? Linda? Present teacher. Hi. Welcome, Linda. Uh, Marlene? I'm here. Miguel? Present. Welcome, Miguel. Nelson? Present. Nelson A? Nelson A? Present. All right, welcome. Uh, Norma. Present teacher. All right, Olga. Present. All right, Omar. Present. Welcome. Suleyma Rodriguez. Present. Suleyma Melgar. Suleyma Melgar. Tatiana. Present. Okay. So I didn't hear Annie, Christine, Leonardo, and <coughs> and Philippe <coughs> Omega. All right. So what we're gonna do now is the following. You have five to seven to seven questions 
that has to do with the indirect questions. What you're gonna do now is I'm going to put you in pairs and now you're going to be asking your partner questions with your own questions. So you're gonna be asking about the procedure, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, or better said, the process of assembly, okay, the, the bicycle. So basically you're gonna have between 10 to 14 questions that you're gonna be discussing, okay? Uh, only with one partner, okay? So uh, the idea is for, for you guys to have different questions, okay? Because I'm going to be um, moving the groups around, you're gonna have a new partner, all right? Do we understand? Yes, teacher. Yeah, it's pretty clear? Yes. Okay, so it's all clear what, how, how we're going to do this? Okay, all right. Let's open up the rooms. I'll give you 10 minutes to discuss the questions. Remember, ask the question and answer. Okay, here we go. Linda, do you have any problems? Linda, any problems? Como que es como que va primero. Uh -huh. Can you tell me if the first step to assemble a board bicycle is a frame? Mm, my opinion is is tires. Sí, sí, si sí, no hay llanta, no, no. Creo que lo principal. My opinion is. Mm, ok. Because the example, uh, the glass, the first step is the frame. Omar. Uh, repeat, please. Uh -huh. uh, another question. No question. Uh, ah, do you okay. have My any? Okay. Question for me. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I wonder if the bike has a bell. I wonder uh -huh. if the bike has a bell. 
Él es la campanilla. Ah. Es. ¿Qué es? ¿Qué es el bag? Have a bear. A little bear. Okay. okay, question for me. Okay. You, Omar? Or me? You. For me. Okay. Do you have any instruction to follow that could make it easier to assemble the bike? Yes. I student them in manual instruction. Okay. For you? Okay. Um um uh, I wonder I would like to know in the heart how the break is twist I'm repeat please okay I would, I would like to know if the handlers have the break. Es como, quisiera saber si las manijas o los tienen freno. Ah, yes, the new model has a break. Potential. Okay. Break. Yes, break. Okay. Um, I would like to know how long it will take you to assemble a bicycle. Repeat. I would like to know how long it will take you to assemble a bicycle. Coulomb, que es Coulomb. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Eh, ¿Cuánto tiempo? Es, que es Coulomb. How long es cuánto tiempo te está? The break. If. The break. The. Como brackets. Right. Price. Can. Can. The. the Ajusted, como ajuste, ajust, como ajustar, ajuste. Ajusted. Ajusted. Yes, adjusted. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Finish. Okay. Okay. Did you finish all the questions? Oh, yeah. Sorry? You finished all the questions? Yes, yes. 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 I read my I read my question. So you both you both finished the questions? Yes. Mm, yes. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. I'll see you girls in the green room later. Okay. We're gonna give more time to the other groups. Okay. Okay. Y más o menos cuándo le van a operar, ya saben. Fíjese que no, porque los exámenes me los acaban de hacer y como ya entramos a proceso de vacaciones y después, ah, se, entra, sé, pues. ajá, y después se entra en el proceso de, de que llaman gestor de cama, donde le asignan la cama a uno y después llega el médico. 
a programar cirugía, ya estando ingresados. Ajá, pero mientras, estas últimas semanas han sido dolor bien severo. Hoy, por ejemplo, han dado con un sueño increíble. Ay, no, qué feo. Sí. Sorry to interrupt you, girls, but are you finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. All right, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. pasó con este grupo? Hello, Miguel, Nelson. Hello, teacher. Hello, Miguel. ¿Qué pasó con este grupo? Eh, creo que no está Nelson. No está Nelson. Teacher Miguel tampoco se conectaba, pues no nos conectábamos. Ah, no me digan. Ajá, ok. Entonces, ¿qué pasó ahí? Teacher, la verdad, a mí no me gusta trabajar en grupos de trabajo o así en pareja. ¿Podría preguntar por qué? Claro, porque yo siento que a veces el compañero no aprenda. ¿Cómo? ¿Perdón? A veces hago que los compañeros no aprendan. A veces usted hace que los compañeros no aprendan. Exacto. ¿Cómo? No lo entiendo muy bien. ¿A qué se refiere? O sea, muchas veces nos quedamos callados por lo general, entonces no aprende él ni aprendo yo y no es eh, que me ha pasado una tan sola vez, sino con varias personas. Entonces, por eso. Prendemos todas nuestras cámaras para poder conversar más, más libremente. <coughs> ok. <coughs> Va, ok. Eh, el, el propósito de, de poder tener los um, grupos reducidos para darles la oportunidad de que ustedes practiquen. Eh, entonces, lo que se ha hecho en clase se practica, ¿verdad? En, 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 en los en rooms, porque no puedo yo, o sea, son 20 alumnos, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, si estamos esperando de que eh, todos tengan la oportunidad para hablar cuando estamos en grupo grande, ¿verdad? Todos juntos, nunca vamos a terminar, ¿verdad? Porque eh, se nos va el tiempo rápido. Entonces, los ponemos en grupos pequeños para que ustedes puedan ir practicando, ¿verdad? Y al final de al fin, final de al cabo, ustedes están aprendiendo inglés, ¿para qué? ¿Me escucha, teacher? Yo no escucho. Sí, yo le escucho, Nelson. No escuché lo, lo último que dijo. Oh, que le pregunto que, ¿por qué razón está usted aprendiendo inglés? que tenía el deseo de aprender porque es importante no solo en trabajo sino para la vida cotidiana ok, ok, muy bien ¿Y, ¿y qué forma cree usted que lo podría utilizar? ¿el inglés? ¿cómo? ¿o cómo es la pregunta? Um, ¿de, ¿de qué forma cree usted que le podría 
eh, ser útil el inglés? De todas las maneras que hay. Ya no dejas salir de ya okay. que muchas veces eh, uno escucha a diario. Uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, en el trabajo uno lee correos en inglés. Uh -huh. Hay muchas cosas que, incluso películas y series y todo eso, están en inglés. Ajá, cabal, muy bien. Eh, ¿Cree usted que podría ser una posibilidad de ir a, de, para usted viajar? ¿Podría ser una opción? Sí. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, eh, cuando uno viaja, va a tener que, se, se encuentra con muchas diferentes personas, ¿verdad? Y ahí entonces usted puede utilizar su, su conocimiento del idioma para poder comunicarse con ellos. Pero para poder llegar a ese punto, tenemos que primero tener la práctica. ¿Verdad? Porque de na nada no vamos a poder, eh, o sea, yo no practico nada y de repente llego a un país y ya estoy hablando fluido, ¿no? Eso no sucede. Entonces, de aquí es donde vamos poco a poco teniendo esa práctica. Entonces, usted dice, um, a veces nos quedamos callados y es cierto, a veces se quedan callados. Pero entonces, ¿por qué no buscar ahí algunas algunas, algunos temas que podrían ustedes hablar. ¿Vale? Si ya terminaron el, el ejercicio, entonces pueden ustedes hablar sin, sin ningún problema, pueden hablar acerca de otros temas, pero con solo que sea en inglés. ¿Vale? Entonces, por ejemplo, Nelson, uh, ¿usted sabe que, cuál es el trabajo de Miguel? Sí, lo mencionó una vez, pero ya no recuerdo. Ok. Miguel, ¿usted sabe cuál es el trabajo de Nelson? No, no. Va, entonces ahí. Ok, ok, no hay problema. O sea, pasa, ¿verdad? Uno, a mí me pasa también, de que de repente se me olvida. Entonces. Entonces, ustedes lo que pueden hacer es seguir la conversación. Um, entonces, pueden hablar de cualquier otra cosa. So, so Nelson, what, what do you do in your job? Where do you work? Ah, Miguel, do you like your work? Do you like your job? Do you work on the weekends? O sea, hay un montón de preguntas que uno podría hacer para continuar la conversación. El punto es más que todo practicar. Práctica, práctica, práctica. Los dos. ¿verdad? O sea, ¿Verdad? Tanto Nelson le pregunta a Miguel como Miguel le pregunta a Nelson. Las conversaciones suceden cuando hay preguntas. O sea, de la nada la gente no, no, no de repente empieza a hablar, sino que por lo general empiezan con una pregunta. ¿Verdad? Ah, ¿y tú qué tal, tal cosa? Ah, sí, sí. Y él le, le explica. ¿Y, ¿Y tú? ¿Verdad? Y entonces ya, y sigue la conversación. Pero si solamente, si esperamos que el otro tome la iniciativa, Ahí se van a estar los dos ahí, en silencio, ¿verdad? Y creo que es lo que sucede en los grupos, que esperamos a que los otros tomen la iniciativa y nadie la toma. Exacto. Pero al fin y al cabo, el que le interesa aprende el idioma. Permítame, tengo un problema. Permítame. Ok, no problema. <coughs> al final y al cabo, el, el que le interesa aprender el idioma es uno mismo. Sí. Entonces, um, por eso es que uno tiene que ser como proactivo, ¿verdad? Decir, ok, los otros no, no, no toman la iniciativa, bueno, problema de ellos, pero a mí sí me interesa aprender este idioma, entonces me voy a lanzar al agua, ¿verdad? Entonces, y así, y así ellos, eh, y, cada, y si cada uno piensa así, uh, van a tener de sobra tiempo para poder hablar y hablar y hablar. ¿Ok? Entonces, yo, yo sé en eso que a veces se influye en la personalidad de cada persona, ¿verdad? O sea, no todos somos abiertos y todo, ¿verdad? Pero no, quizás usted no me lo va a creer, pero yo soy una persona muy tímida. Entonces, sí, 
he tenido que aprender. Cuando, cuando me convertí en, en profesora, tuve que hacer al lado mi timidez. Y, y si usted me encuentra en la calle, muy probablemente usted verá que soy bastante callada. Pero aquí he tenido que aprender a, a soltarme. Y le, yo en la clase le puedo ser de payaso y todo, y no hay problema. Pero he aprendido a tener que soltarme. Entonces, a pesar que pues mi personalidad no es así. Es más, o sea, yo soy una persona que además de tímida, tendo a hablar bastante suave. Y también es otra cosa que yo he tenido que aprender a hacer, a proyectar mi voz. Entonces, hay muchas cosas que, que uno, pues, a pesar de su, su personalidad ya moldeada, pues, pero uno puede seguirla moldeando de tal forma que uno pueda ajustarse, ¿verdad? A las circunstancias. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí. Ok, bueno, vamos a regresar porque ya creo que los demás ya terminaron. Ok, so I'll bring you back to the main room. All right. Okay, guys. Um, so we are going to um, well, now that we have done, so you were able to ask your partner questions, everybody? Yeah? Okay. Yes, teacher. Good. Did your partners ask you indirect questions that were correctly made? Yes. yes the order of the question? Yeah? Yes. Okay, good, good. Okay, great. So we have a few more minutes left of class. In this few minutes, I'm going to get you guys to do the following. We're going to discuss these questions. So, do you agree, oops, sorry. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to make profit? Discuss these questions, first of all. Do you, let's discuss the first question. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to make profit? Do you understand this question? Does this question make sense, the first one? Yeah, I don't understand the, the, the meaning of the, of the sentence, teacher. Okay. When it says regardless, it means like independent, independent of the size of the business. It can be a big business or it can be a small business, okay? So, do you agree that it doesn't matter the size of the business, analyzing the cost, right? The, the price is essential or important to make a profit. What is a profit? Make money. Yeah, make money, right? How do you say profit in Spanish? Uh, rentable. Mm -hmm. It's close. Financia. Financia. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, do you agree that independent, if the if the com if the, the company is big or small, you need to analyze the cost 
to make a profit, to make money. Do you agree? Yes, I, I agree with that. Yeah? Yes. Everybody agrees with that? Yeah. Yeah? Anybody disagrees with that? Anybody disagrees? No, no teacher. All right. Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. In your job or personally? Uh, in, my, in my case, in my job and personally too, to know how much uh, a, a building may can be the cost. Or how, how much is the cost? Okay, very good. All right, any others? Have you, have you ever calculated the cost? Yes, teacher, personally. Okay, okay, very good. Personally. All right, it was personally? Okay, all right. Can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product. Do you understand a fixed expense? Fijos. Uh huh. Exactly. An expense that it doesn't change, that it's always the same. How can you calculate? Tell me, what can you do to calculate, um, or what what things would be fixed expenses to cal calculate the cost of a product? And Eva. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. So the taxes. What else? Uh, in some case, the, the the price of the materials. Okay. Yeah. Some materials because some many, materials. many materials change. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Um, basic service like that uh, water, energy. Right. Um, all right. Although that one is not so much fixed because it change, it change, it can vary. Maybe the, the facility. Right. Okay. Good. So the place where okay. you have your when you are working, uh, where you're working, right? Where you're making the product. Yes. So maybe you have to pay uh, for the for the, the rent. The, yeah. You have to pay a rent, right? So yes, that could definitely be a fixed expense. Absolutely. Okay. Very good. All right. Now. What we're going to do is the following. Oops. You're going to put you into groups, and I want to read the information about analyzing cost of production. Okay? You're going to read the information and try to understand it. That's all you're going to do because we don't have time to answer the question. Just read the information, and you can circle words that you don't understand. Okay. Or you can write them down. Okay? Got it? Okay, I'm going to um, do can you guys understand me? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put you into groups. So you can read maybe one paragraph each person. Okay, that's the idea. You're gonna read. Um, 
You can take a picture, but this is in your this is in your in your manual too. Okay. Like I said, pueden tomar la foto, pero está en en el manual. Okay, we did it. In the página 32, but it's yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna give you a few minutes to read. Um, you can all read like and you can circle the words that you don't understand. Okay. Um Okay, um, yeah. let's let's open up the rooms. to consider when when pricing a product the cost of production the market demand for the product and the desired markup by the business the cost of production it's it and variable cost determined the selling price price of the business firm's product fitted cost include item such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, volume, like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first determine how much of your fixes and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. All told, it may be a difficult calculation. A simple, for, a simple formula for, to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimate, estimate. total sales you will have. Then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. 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 Yeah. Production. <laughs> Very good. You guys can talk about the vocabulary that you don't understand. Fixes. Variably cost go into products. Production. Each unit if of your product. Although it might be a difficult calculation, a um, simple formula to help you is to add your total physics cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total be your estimate total sales you will have then your cost of product production per unit. No, you have to sell the product for uh, at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Next. Okay, my turn. Um, Market demand for a product service. Market demand for a product or a service is the second factor that a business has the cost of. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a customer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Okay. Okay, 
Next. ¿Quién leyó la última parte? Usted, Marlene. Uh, falta leer Determinate the oh. Markup. Ok. Determinate the Markup of a Product. Regardless of the type of a small business. Markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planned profit. The type of the product or service you are selling. How, rap how rapidly the product sells and the amount of service performed by the seller. Okay. Okay. On, on a question. And what are the most important factors to consider when selling a price for a product? A price for, for a product. Okay. Cost of production, the market demand for the production, and the desired markup by the business. Production. production. Yes, production. Detection. What are some examples of five pixel? Cost, fixed cost. Fixed cost included if items such as the rent for the office or manufacturing space. Okay. What are example of variable cost? Variable cost is to... uh, La respuesta de la uno. Or the no es under to cover the cost of production. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, production. Okay, all right, guys. Um, I hope that um, you guys were able to read the article um, and circle any words that you don't understand, discuss the words. Uh, we're gonna be discussing those words um, in class after. So uh, better said, um, well, yes, after, because we're after the break, right? After the vacation, because uh, that's when we're gonna return. So we're gonna, so uh, don't forget to write the words that you don't understand, ask about them uh, on next 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 Monday when we come back. Okay. So um, right now I'm going to be taking attendance quickly. Uh, abran sus micrófonos y sus camaritas, por favor. And we're going to start. Um, 
Cristina. Yes, teacher. Ani. Mari. Present. Carolina. Present. Cristi. Jorge. Present, teacher. Karen. Karina. Present. Leonardo. Linda. Present, teacher. Marlene. Present. Present. Nelson. Present. Nelson A. Nelson A. Present. Okay, very Present. good. Okay, excellent. Norma. Present. Olga. Present. Omar. Present. Silvia Rodríguez. Sorry, Suleima Rodríguez. Present. Suleima Melitar. Y Tatiana. Present. Vale. Eh, hoy le tocaría quedarse a Suleima Melgar, pero como no está, si alguien quiere quedarse, con gusto lo atiendo. ¿Ok? Si no, pues que disfruten ahí sus vacaciones, eh, relájense, hagan relajo si quieren, pero demasiado no quiere, queremos que regresen después de la de lo... ah, yes. okay. thank you teacher thank you ok y nos vemos al, al terminar las vacaciones ok Bye, teacher. Que tenga Bye. feliz vacación y lo disfrute. Muchas gracias. Yo ahorita voy a que me inyecten, a ponerme compresa, a ponerme electrodo, a ponerme de todo. ¿En serio? <ríe> ahorita. Ay, no aguanto el dolor. Tengo un dolor. Que cada minuto de la clase era. Ay, ya, ya, ya. Ay, ah, ya no, no Carolina. Sí, no, no, vaya, vaya a descansar. Ok. Feliz noche. Cuídese. Bendiciones. Sí. Bye. Bye.